Legend of Zelda is my favourite gaming franchise, so when I got the idea of reviewing Minish Cap, I could not wait to get into the review. My fifth and final review of the year is none other than The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for the GBA. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. As in any Zelda game, you start off as Link, or whoever you want to call him. The Princess of Hyrule, Princess Zelda, arrives at your house, waiting for you to take her to the Pakori Festival in town. You end up taking her as she wishes. She is the princess, you know. When you arrive in town, you go to the king's assistant. He explains that the winner of the tourney gets to hold the legendary Picuri Blade. Suddenly, the winner of the contest reveals that he is a bat, and he wants the power that the blade holds. Not getting what he wants, he turns the princess to stone and vanishes. The king explains the only way to get the princess back to normal is to seek out the creatures who are supposed to be a myth the Pakori. On his way to the forest, Link discovers a hat with powers to shrink him down to teeny tiny size. As I said before, the cat, whose name is Ezlo, can shrink you down to tiny size. This adds up for some pretty fun and challenging puzzles, changing back and forth from big to small. As in any Zelda game, you progress by talking to people, exploring, and especially going through dungeons. The dungeons are probably the most important thing in Zelda games. You explore a bit, then you solve a few puzzles, fight a few enemies, you then find an item about halfway through each dungeon. I, I will get into the items a little later. After collecting your item, you solve a few more puzzles, then you destroy the temple boss. This formula has been running for a long time now, and it's amazing how it is still kept fresh and new. Now back into the items. The items let you progress through the game, helping you explore more areas on your world map and continuing solving puzzles in each dungeon. The old Zelda items are back like the bombs, bow and arrow and the Pegasus boots. There are also new items like the gust jar which lets you suck in and blow out enemies and other objects. The cane of parchy which lets you flip over things and shoot you out of holes and the mole mitts which lets you dig dig dig. There are also an the element of collecting halves of medallions called kinstones. When connected with the other half, something good happens. Hooray! Now the bad things about this game. The game still beeps when you are on two or less hearts. Ah! ah make it stop! The last boss is kinda hard. It took me seven or more times to defeat him without dying. And the game does not reward you when you finish. And the Sky Dungeon is absolute torture. This game has a very similar look to A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. This isn't a bad thing either, because if you don't like the graphics in these games, Minish Cap has better polished graphics, so if you had any worries about this, put them to rest. There is some very nice lighting in this game, especially in the forest. And as I say in most of my reviews this year, the lava and water effects are nice to look at, but not like Yoshi's Island or Metroid Prime Hunters. The graphics are very good for GBA standards and should be more recognised. The D-pad is to move. Your sword and items can be on either the A or B buttons, your choice. The R button is to roll. Holding the R button and moving up, down, left or right moves an object and L fuses your kinstones. The controls are nice because you can have freedom to assign your items to either buttons. Very nice Nintendo, very nice. The soundtrack in this game is phenomenal, and I cannot stress how great the music in this game is. There are themes from happy to joyful to sad and creepy. Just listen for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
The sound effects are very good, especially the characters. They are very funny and cheerful. I absolutely love the noise that the book stacker in the library makes. I love it. The only noises that I don't like are Lynx. The constant yelling is very irritating. The music and sound is great. Really great. Overall, this game is really, really good. It is one of my best GBA games, and it is up there with my favourite Zelda games. I just absolutely love this game. This should be a part of your GBA collection. Go and buy it now off eBay. That's all for now, gamers. Thanks for listening to my reviews for this year. See you later.